Salaam alaikum everybody. We'll try that again. Salaam alaikum. Okay, very good. It's an honor to be here. It's an honor to be here. Um, just want to talk to you about the role of the, the community, the role of the police department in the community. And I want to talk, to, I want to bring Anas Ahmed here, and I also want to bring Mr. Stowe as well. You know, we are living in a time when there is a lot of Islamophobia. There's a lot of fear in the Muslim community about retaliation, bullying in schools, another one. People like Muna Nigm, Mimi Hassanain, uh, Samir Hussain, all brought to our attention these type of issues that are going on. Fortunately, through the Office of Human Rights liaison by Anas Ahmed, it was brought to our attention through the Committee on Hate Violence that bullying was happening in your schools, your children are being bullied. And the second issue was is that they didn't feel that there was a good enough uh, relationship with law enforcement. And that's where we come in. In typical fashion, we responded, and we responded with authority. I'm proud to say that what we have started was, what we have started doing is coming into the mosques, talking to your youth, talking to them about the issues that they're facing, such as bullying and how it's unacceptable, and that, we sh that it should be reported to us. We have school resource officers in the, in, the, in the school system that can handle those type of complaints, okay? We also uh, understood that there is a little bit of a trust issue, whether you can blame it on the media, you can blame it on politicians, uh, you can blame it on a whole a, a sort of variety of reasons why that trust does not exist. So it was thought of that the best thing to do is work with the leadership. So I'm proud to say that as a result of that meeting that we had with the Muslim community, we've inducted our first police Muslim chaplain. I'm very proud to say, and that is Imam Muhammad Abdullahi. I would like to say it could have never happened unless we had the support from Assistant Chief Luther Reynolds, who's a man of faith as well. When Assistant Chief Luther Reynolds heard the idea, he ran with it. He made the proper introductions to the chaplain corps at the police department, and alhamdulillah, Brother Muhammad Abdullahi is now a police chaplain. So with that, and I know we're getting close to Iftar, I'm gonna wrap it up. I would like to, oh, I would like to have uh, Assistant Chief Luther Reynolds uh, read the proclamation. Let me just say it's an absolute privilege to be here to share in this Ramadan Iftar celebration with you. This is an impressive group. And I'll read the proclamation and present this in just a minute, but I just want to say something that I think needs to be said on behalf of Chief Tom Manger and all of the men and women of our police department. We stand with you. I would like to think that there's no space, no space between you and us. So with that, this certificate is signed by our chief, Tom Major, who would be here tonight. He's out of town on a well-deserved vacation. And myself, it has our police badge on it and, and our uh, challenge coin from the police department. It's a certificate of appreciation to Mohammed Abdullahi, with the Montgomery County, Maryland Police Chaplain, in recognition and gratitude of your willingness to volunteer as a police chaplain for the Montgomery County Department of Police. Your efforts are instrumental in helping the department to fulfill its mission of service to its members and the community. And I can't think of a better recipient, a more humble and a more powerful leader. Congratulations and thank you. Assalamu alaikum and peace be upon you. It's my honor and privilege to accept and receive the honorable position, volunteer position, in our police uh, department in Montgomery County. It's my honor and privilege to share with you that I feel very happy and I'm grateful to our elected officials who work with us as a community. And without being emotional, 
in the real world, I can tell you I've been in many places in the world. I've been in Europe, in Africa, in Middle East. I communicate with many human capacity and any labels. I can tell you that we are really blessed here in our country, United States of America. And I would like to say that, yes, yes, we are human. And in the human existence, that there is always differences. People, they disagree, but only in America, you will find that when something challenging happens, people, they come together and they work together. And thank you so much.